folks. I just wanted to make a follow-up video on how to scan documents using the built-in notes app that comes on iOS devices. I uh, got a lot of great feedback uh, on that video, but also had a couple of questions. So I wanted to dive back in and talk a little bit on how to mark up your documents once they're scanned. A lot of folks were asking me if you can add a signature or maybe watermark the document afterwards. So I've got a scan already in my notes app and if you haven't seen the previous video on how to scan the documents you can look at the link posted below in the description. So I've got a scan. It's a certificate that I want to mark up. I want to sign it and maybe throw a watermark on it. So what you have to do is I'm going to tap on it so I can get in here and start editing it. It's not terribly intuitive as to how you get to the editing tools, but once you're in them, they're pretty straightforward to use. You actually hit your sharing arrow and that will bring up all the different ways you can share your document. And right here it says markup. And this will bring up the markup tools. So let me give you a quick tour on these tools. You've got a couple of different pens at the bottom. Some are basically pencils and others are highlighters. So this first one here is just a typical pen tip. You can click on the thickness of the tip you'd like to use and then you go out and you can mark up and doodle on your document. You can also adjust the opacity of it by using the um, the color slider here, if you bring it down, it will change the opacity of it. Next to it is a highlighter to click and highlight your text. That also has very similar options. You have a thickness of the highlighter, you know how big it's going to be, and also the opacity of the highlighter. So this one will come out darker. The lower the opacity, the more faint your highlighting will become. That's actually really faint. Let's bring it up a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And then you have another pen tip. This one has more of a coarse head to it, more like a, almost like a crayon. And again, same deal. You can tap on it. You get some different thicknesses that you can make the pen and so forth and so on. Now, next to that is your eraser. The eraser has two settings, pixel and object eraser. By default, it's on pixel, I believe. So if you go ahead and erase, you'll just erase the pixels that you just put on the screen. However, the object eraser will erase the entire stroke that you made in one shot. So up here above the word certificates, I have this little scribble that I made for the highlight. If I just click on that, it'll erase all that ink. So I'm just tapping on all the ink strokes that I made and it will go ahead and erase them all at once, which is pretty handy. Now let me go back to this pen, bring up the opacity, make it a little thicker. I'm just gonna scribble some numbers here. There we go. There's this other pencil tip that has these lines. That lets you select the ink that you put on the mock-up here and move it around. So I can go ahead and put some marching ants around that number one and drag it around, reposition it. Select number two, drag it around. So basically this pen tip lets you select your artwork or your mock-up and go ahead and move it around. And grab a couple at a time and drag them around on the document. Next that we have a ruler. Let's get this uh, pen tip up. Let's get a little thicker. This will allow you to draw straight lines. It keeps you going along the edge of the ruler there. You can pinch and rotate it. Change the angle of that ruler. And you can see when you rotate it, it gives you the degrees. So that can be kind of handy. Now I'm going to go to my eraser. It's on the object eraser. I'm going to click on I'll tie the ruler. I'm going to click on each line and that's just going to erase the, that entire object, that entire brush stroke. There we go. On next set you have your color palette. We'll come back to that later on. And then there's a plus button. This lets you add text or a signature. So text is pretty straightforward. It'll make a text box. You can drag and move it, tap on it, hit the edit button. I'm going to call it uh, watermark. Oops, that's not how you spell water. And I'm going to do uh, an open parenthesis with a C and a closed parenthesis. And that's going to, I can either leave it like that or it's going to assume I'm trying to make the copyright symbol and it will come up uh, with my preemptive text here as a copyright symbol. I can go ahead and actually add 
a copyright to that. So we'll copyright it 2021. There we go. And close my keyboard, and there is my text. Now, it's not a very good watermark, but if I click on it and go ahead and move it, I can click on the text options down here at the bottom. You can change your typeface. I want to make it really big. Yeah, I like something like that will be fine. And I can pinch and rotate it. And I can watermark my document with some text. Now this is still a pretty hideous watermark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of it. I'm actually going to go to the color picker, which is the sort of the rainbow wheel of colors down here. And I can bring down, I mean aside from changing the color of it, I can bring the opacity down. I'm going to bring that way down to maybe like, you know, 14 or 15 percent, somewhere like that. There we go. And now I've got a pretty decent looking watermark across my document. That makes a lot more sense. I can go to the plus button here. I can add in a signature. Now I had some signatures in here earlier, so I can just click on the signature and go ahead, size it and position it where I would like. If I need to add a signature, go to signatures, add or remove, hit the add button, max, headroom, there we go, because that's the person who uh, got the certificate here. Remove my signature, we'll put maxes in here, And there you go. Now also under that plus menu, you have some basic shape building tools. And I haven't used this a whole lot, but there is a magnifier. And that will kind of let you, um, you can make the circle bigger or smaller. Let me highlight the word that. And the little, so the, the other circle up here, kind of the, the green circle will control how much it magnifies. And I think that's just a nice way of enhancing, you know, if you've got to bring to light something in the document and say, we've got to really take a look at that word, uh, you can go ahead and magnify it, which I think is kind of cool. Other than that, when you're all set, you hit done. Let's hit done again. And there is your scan all mocked up. Once you hit done, the changes are permanent. If you go back into the mockup tool, you won't be able to edit what you put on there previously. You can add stuff to it, but you won't be able to remove what you already have. So a lot of folks found that scanning video very helpful. Hopefully this will be a nice compliment to that. And as always, thank you for watching.